hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Welcome to episode two of uh, the story so far. I've just been thinking as I'm sat here uh, at home. I've just been thinking uh, who's best trainer at the moment of an up and coming fighter who just doesn't do any interviews whatsoever and he's not in any magazines, he's not hanging out at the back of people at shows, he goes about his business very quiet. And I'd have to say the best trainer at the moment of any up and coming fighter under 25 years of age who doesn't whore himself about like a prostitute is Martin Bowers he's the trainer for the the great Daniel Dubois who they reckon is going to go all the way he's the best trainer at the moment who's not hanging out at the back of the people so Hanging out at the back of people, so well done. Uh, in other news, is TCP on sale cheap at the moment? If it is, be quick. As with the amount of rimming that Tony Bellew is doing around Eddie Hearn's arsehole. Uh, there could be a, 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 low, a shortage of TCP at the moment, especially in the Liverpool area. Because... Tony Bellew's breath must stink. I mean, pff, come on. Unbelievable. The amount of rimming that he's doing. He's hanging out of the back of Eddie Hearn. And I'm getting worried for the pair of them. I, there's uh, there's some serious man, man love going on there. Or is it bromance? I don't know. But it's looking serious for Tony. Or Anthony. The disappearing man. The man that wants to disappear. We were on Soccer AM the other day and then straight over to Matchroom. I mean, the man is relentless. Speaking of arse lickers, who do the fans reckon is the biggest monitor lizard in boxing after Spencer Oliver? Come on, let me know in your comment section. Who is the biggest arse licker or monitor lizard after Spencer Oliver at the moment? So, I've just seen a man... A man walked by here puffing on a cigarette and I swear to God he's a spitting image of Sean O'Hagan. But uh, will Sean O'Hagan, a.k.a. Josh Warrington's dad, ever quit smoking? It's bad for your health, isn't it? I mean, 40 park drive a day, it's not good for you, is it? Can I just point out that uh, Steffi Bull a.k.a. the man that likes to dress up in women's clothes. Can I just point out that he's a married man with children? Alright, I just need to point that out. So, I don't want anybody getting any wrong ideas about him. He is all man, from what I've heard. So, the person twerking in that, in that uh, gay bar and all this about wearing women's clothes, it's a total stitch-up. They did it to Oscar De La Hoya, and they've done it to Steffi Bull. Anyway, that's Steffi's story. So, the the hardcore boxing fans, the jury is out on whether Darren Barker threw the Sturm fight. What do the fans think? Do the fans think he just turned up and took his licks and the money 
after all these big chat in all the press conferences. What do the fans think? That's what I want to know. AKA Dazzling Darren Barker, the matchroom spokesman or matchroom company man. Will Dennis Hobson ever tell me a story that doesn't involve Ricky Atten, Clinton Woods or Jamie McDonnell or Tommy Frank? Come on, Dennis. Stop living it past. Tell me tell me a story that's uh, that's modern and uh, that's uh, that something's going to happen. I don't want to keep hearing about the past and I don't want to hear, Dennis, about you're going to build up the Sonny Edwards and Tommy Frank fight. Come on, Dennis. Come on, you know, it's getting it built up. Tommy's 27 year old next birthday, Dennis. Come on, let's get this fight made. Tommy Frank, Sonny Edwards, let's have it made for a British title, Dennis, or some sort of belt. Come on. Will Anthony Joshua versus Usek ever happen? Not on your Nelly. Is Eddie Earn and, Eddie Earn and Joshua greedy? And I. If they're greedy so-and-sos playing to the British public, do they care about the fans? No, they don't care about the fans or the British public. Is Canelo Alvarez still on the wild boar meat? Well, I don't know. I don't know him. But if Canelo Alvarez says he's on wild boar meat, I can assure you everybody else will believe him because he's massive, his biggest star in boxing. Will Errol Spence be doing any speed awareness courses in July at Rotherham United Football Ground with Big Porky? I very much doubt that. Errol Spence is an American and I'm a Yorkshireman. Did AJ look a mug in his LucasAid towel after Ruiz iced him? <laughs> yeah, he did, but to think that AJ is paying somebody a £1,000 a week, room and board and travel... Just to pass him a towel that says Lucasaid on it after his fought. <laughs> hey, if they'd have knocked Ruiz out, they'd have passed him a pair of Beats headphones, wouldn't they? Just to put round his neck. I mean, they're not even plugged in, are they, when, he, when he's going around his neck? It is what it isn't. Is Lou DiBello a legend? You better believe it. Tyson Fury says he's the best ever. Well, that... That... That bird... That's uh, a matter of opinion. Tyson Fury has two world title wins and he's not defended a belt yet. Is Dominic Ingle vain? Uh, is Dominic Ingle vain? Well, he's he's, uh, he's not blessed with good looks, is he? But all this standing in the mirror and flexing and all that. Well, that's what that's his game, isn't it? That's his game, isn't it? Is Coogan Cassius vain? Uh no, with them flabby arms, they can't be. <laughs> hey, get them arms toned up, Coogan. Who's best at throwing the towel in in the UK? Dominic Ingle or Darren Barker? Well, it's not Joe Gallagher, is it? He leaves them to get slaughtered, doesn't he? Ask Marcus Morrison <laughs> to get bashed a bit. Sass Crawler as well. So it is what it is. <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all i just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing it means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs>